In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Onyx Toolstore, as well as some of the key features in the program. So the first time you download the program and you open it on the computer, this is the window you will see. You're going to be asked to log in, and this login information is going to tell Onyx Toolstore which company to connect to in Onyx. So we log in and we see that your company is displayed, displayed here. Now the most important settings here is to let Toolstore know which location to collect equipment from. So for my company, we have created a location called Toolstore. Now that we've selected the location Toolstore, all the, all the equipment uh, set on this location is gonna be available in Onyx Toolstore. Now that we've told Toolstore which equipment to use, we can go back. And it's also important to have users uh, in Toolstores, employees who can actually rent equipment. Now there is different ways to do so. One of the ways is to go into Onyx Work on your account and go to external data sources. So first I went to settings, then I went to external data sources, and here we can see import Onyx Toolstore users. You, by using this wizard, you will easily just follow these steps and you will, allow, will be allowed to import several users uh, simultaneously. You can also add users through manage accounts. Uh, you identify yourself and then click add new down here uh, on the right. Okay, so now that we have equipment as well as users in the program, uh, we need to decide if our tool store is going to be a um, manned tool store or an unmanned tool store, which means does it require an operator or is it just going to be um, a self-driven program where simply the user just identifies themselves every time they want to rent equipment. So through change operator, we can say if it's going to be unmanned or manned. So in this case, Frederick, he's responsible for Toolstore, so he's going to be set at, as the manned uh, user. Like so. Now we're actually set up to start renting equipment, which we do in checkout. If you wish to use RFID to uh, rent out equipment, you do so through this tile here. We're not going to do that in this video, so we're ready to check out some equipment. So this is the window you're going to see 90% of the time once the tool store is actually set up, because this is the window where you identify the employee who wants to rent equipment. As you can see, there's three ways to do so. In this case, we've chosen employee ID, so I just type my employee ID. If the employee ID I type in is not recognized, I can just create a new user in this window directly. But in this case, I'm going to enter my correct ID. We can see that my name is displayed here. So on the left side here is where I search for all the equipment. I can search for the ID, which is the serial number, the batch number, the product number, or I can make a broader search and simply just type in the type or the model of the equipment that I want to, to rent. And I can sort the search by only showing available or only showing checked out, or I can simply select here user, for example, and all the equipment that is rented by me at this uh, particular date is gonna show. But in this case, I only want to see available equipment. If I want to search for equipment using a QR, I can press this button and the camera will um, activate. And if I want to search for RFID, I simply click this one. So I'm searching manually and without any search criteria. So this is all the available equipment. So what I see here is that the equipment is in, which is, means it's available. I get some information about the equipment. Here I actually see the due date of the equipment and the last status it got on the last inspection. 
And for some equipment that is not um, individually marked, uh, we could say that uh, we add quantity instead to easily manage this in the tool store. So let's say, for example, I want this equipment and I want two of those. I click OK, and this now gets moved to the right side of the screen. And I would like this uh, round sling, so I add that one. And I just keep going down the list like so. Adding the equipment that I want to rent. Uh, once I put it here, I can simply just click confirm and log out, and this equipment will now be registered to my name. Now you can see that I, after checking out, I get uh, sent back to the home screen. To be a bit more efficient, we can, by going to settings and saying start in checkout, I will automatically get put into this window every time I click confirm and log out. This way we don't have to go back to the checkout window manually. So let's say it is the next day. I want to return my equipment. I can see my name being identified. And to make this easier, I can simply just click here on user and click search to see the equipment that is registered to my name. So I can add this to the list. Like so, and it says returning three equipment. Now I can confirm and log out, but unfortunately one of the equipment that I rented actually got damaged. So I need to let the system know that this equipment needs service before we are allowed to rent it again. And now it's a red dot and I can complete the uh, return. And now you see you get put directly back in the login window. So the last feature I want to show here in Toolstore is if you want to collect data and reports about the equipment that is being uh, rented, you can do so here. Here we can make a search uh, for what type of equipment we want to see. I'm just gonna make a empty search and we can go here to chart to get a overview uh, with different uh, data. And if we want to create a report, we can go down here to report, check the boxes for which equipment I want to include in the report, click OK, and the report will look like this. Here you can see it will give me overdue equipment, which user has the overdue equipment, available equipment, and so forth. So those were how to get that, that was how to get started in Onyx Toolstore as well as some of the key features in the program.